My name is Robin Swain and I'm a graduate assistant at the Counseling Center at Shippensburg University. And in this segment, I wanted to talk to you about deep breathing. Deep breathing being a technique uh, or a tool you can put in your tool belt to use as a coping skill in times of high stress or high anxiety, or even as just a day-to-day -day practice to help keep yourself calm and grounded. Considering that we're in a time of social distancing and a lot of change and there's a lot of uncertainties, this is a great simple practice that you can truly use at any time to help calm your body down and get you refocused to continue moving forward. So if we think about our bodies from a biological perspective, we have our central nervous system, which is mainly comprised of two parts. We have the sympathetic nervous system, which a lot of people know as the fight or flight response system of the body. And we also have the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the rest and digest part of our nervous system. So if we are in this state of like, go, 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 or a little bit more stress, maybe a little bit more anxiety, you know, our heart rate's really up, the quickest way to kind of turn this part of the system off and really amp up the rest and digest part of our system, the easiest way to do that is to initiate deep breathing. So when we are taking deep breaths, what we are actually doing is we are activating our vagus nerve, which is the longest and most complicated cranial nerve that we have in our bodies. And it moves, it goes from the center of our brainstem through this mid portion of our body. And so when we are taking deep breaths, what we are doing is we are stimulating the parasympathetic fibers that are located on this vagus nerve. And that is activating that vagus nerve, which is in charge of slowing our heart rate and calming our body down. So when we are taking these deep breaths, that is what is physically happening to our body. So what I would like to invite you to do, since you're here, is to put one hand on your chest and one hand on your belly. And I want you to take a moment right now and just pay attention to your breathing. And pay attention to what is rising and falling. If you are noticing most of your rising and falling down here in your belly area, then you're a natural belly breather. But most of us are chest breathers. So most of us are gonna find that our chest actually moves up and down a little bit more than our belly. So the idea of deep breathing is to now focus your breath down lower into the belly area. Uh, we're trying not to do chest breathing, but focusing more in this lower grounded area here. So what I want you to do, you're gonna breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. And when you breathe in through your nose, I want you to imagine your belly inflating like a balloon. So we're thinking wide, low, deep, expansive breaths. And then on the exhale, out through the mouth, coming back in, stomach coming back in. So practice that once with me. We're gonna Inhale through the nose, slow, wide breath, and then exhale out the mouth, kind of like a deflating balloon, real slow. And we can do that again. Think of really wide on the inhale, and then coming back in on the exhale. Breathing in, really feel that balloon, and exhale and coming back in. So this is a great practice to utilize, one, either in stressful situations or when you feel like you're really elevated and you need to calm yourself down. It's also really great to help you get to sleep at night. And it's also a great just daily practice to do as a preventative measure for preventing future stress. The more you practice calming your body down, the less prone it is to getting more stressed out in maybe some anxiety provoking situations. So before we end this video, what I would like to invite you to do is to do 10 deep breaths with me right now. Don't click away. If you have the time now, let's practice together. Um, it never hurts to focus on our breathing. And since you know we're doing this asynchronously together, um, either feel free 
to close your eyes or you can keep a low gaze or if it's easier for you to stare at me that won't feel too awkward for me considering I pre-recorded this so whatever is most comfortable for you and you can either keep your hands here you can keep them on your belly if that helps you visualize or you can put your arms on your lap whatever will be the most comfortable for you for doing this practice but we're going to do 10 slow deep breaths together and hopefully we'll feel a little bit more calm a little bit more grounded by the end of our practice so our first deep breath in and slow exhale out Inhale. And exhale. Slow inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Slow breath in. And slow breath out. Breathe in. And breathe out. In. Out. In. Last one in. And last exhale out. So thank you for doing that with me. I hope this technique is of help to you. And please feel free to always reach out to the counseling center. Uh, there was definitely not a time skip here because I didn't forget to write this at all. It is so not darker outside. <laughs> but um, please feel free to visit our website at www.ship.edu forward slash counseling underscore center. Uh, we have a lot of resources up there that um, students, faculty, or staff can look through and choose from any information about getting in touch with us. And then we also have our outreach page at www.facebook.com forward slash UCC outreach page. And anytime we have events going on, we'll post them up there. We also provide more resources and links to things that we find online that we feel we should share with you. So thank you for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day, evening, whatever it may be.